Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this video, we're going to be looking at this, which is the Sir Alti Pro. Now, the Alti Pro is an older, thin line style telly with some tricks up its sleeve. The reason why I got this was because I sold my Les Paul and I was looking for a versatile twin humbucker guitar. Now, the Les Paul is fantastic. It's a great guitar. It's a classic guitar. Loads of people get on with it. Personally, I don't. And one of the reasons why I don't get on with it is because for me, a Les Paul sounds great in the bridge position when you're using it with overdrive and everything else just, it just doesn't cut through a mix. So I was looking for a guitar with a lot more versatility. Now, even though this is a twin humbucker guitar, it's got thornbuckers. Now, these thornbuckers are fantastic low output PAF style pickups. And it's got a five-way selector switch. Now, what that means is it uses some clever wiring, which basically splits the pickups. So you get some more sort of single coil sort of sounds. Now, that's obviously something that a standard style Les Paul can't do or doesn't do. Normally, when you buy a twin humbucker guitar and it's got coil splits on it, you tend to get a reduction in volume, in output, when you switch into the coil positions. And for some reason, this guitar doesn't do that. And I've got to be honest, these are some of the finest pickups that I've ever heard on a guitar. Let's go through some of the sounds. First of all, let's switch it to the bridge position. Now, clean, it sounds like this. When I say clean, clean on the verge of sort of breakup. So it's got loads of clarity, way more clarity than my custom shop Les Paul that I used to own. Let's go through the clean sounds first. The next switch up, I think, is one of the humbuckers split. So now you're getting that in-between telly sort of sound, which is one of my favorite sounds. I use it all the time. The next one up is both humbuckers together. It's still got clarity. Right, the next one up, as far as I can tell, is basically the neck position of the coil. So you get that classic telly neck or Stratocaster neck sort of sound. I don't know about you guys, but when I play a Strat, I tend to use position one, position two, position five, and that's really about it. Now, what's great about this, even though it's got five positions, is every single position sounds fantastic. Okay, so that's position four, and position five is the neck humbucker. Right, let's try some overdrive sounds. Let's switch it back to the bridge. And let's switch on my plumes pedal. So it's got loads of clarity, which is what you get from more low output pickups. Let's switch on to the neck position and try some overdrive sounds. And let's try position number four. So that gives it that classic sort of Hendrix neck position strat sort of sound. Let's talk about build quality. Now with all Sir guitars, the build quality is stunning to be honest. It has stainless steel frets. To me, that's a really good thing. Um, stainless steel frets basically are hard wearing frets. Most frets are made out of nickel silver, contain no silver whatsoever. But stainless steel frets are the modern take on guitar frets, they basically last forever. They don't tarnish because it's stainless steel. Uh, they don't dent. 
Now, a lot of guitar luthiers don't like to use stainless steel. Basically, it's, um, it's really hard to work with. But once you've got a guitar with stainless steel frets on it, you don't look back, to be honest. I've got a couple of guitars that have got them and always my choice. Now it comes with locking tuners. The locking tuners are Sir's own brand, but they are really high quality. I mean, you wouldn't expect to pay two and a half thousand pounds for a guitar and not expect the finest quality on all the components. I really like the bridge. The bridge is very different to a telly bridge, as in it's a lot shorter, it's a lot more comfortable to play. And yeah, it sounds great. It's very light compared to a normal Telecaster. Um, I guess half of that is probably because it's been routed out, but it's yeah, nice and light, very resonant. The paint job is, as you would expect, absolutely fantastic. Now, it's a poly finish. Personally, I prefer a nitro finish, but you can see the quality of the paintwork is flawless. Uh, far better than, than what you get out of the Fender Custom Shop at the moment. I mean, look at the state of that. Anyway, my only gripe, and it's not really a gripe because I personally prefer it this way, but a lot of people do have a problem with this. When you spend two and a half thousand pounds on a guitar, you'd expect a case. Now with a Sir, you get a really nice quality gig bag. Now I'm sick of cases. I've got probably 10 cases in my loft. Um, when I gig, I normally take a gig bag. It's far easier to travel with. So that's always my choice. Now to me, this is the ultimate Telecaster. It's got the Telecaster sounds that we all love, but it's also got the versatility of some humbucker sounds. So really you could take this to a gig or a session and it would cover all of the jobs, all of the styles that you would need. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of that. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on that little bell icon and you'll be notified as soon as a new video comes out. Mm -hmm.